From the Minnehaha Comedy Club in Burnsville, Minnesota, it's just a show with Keith King. Tonight, hitting the pavement, street therapy. Keith tries to be a babysitter. And special guest, Jojo the Balloon Guy. And now, your host, Keith King. Oh, yes! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Just a Show. I'm your host, Keith King. Yes. According to the New York Times, new research suggests that women who regularly consume moderate amounts of alcohol are less likely to gain weight than non-drinkers. So ladies, say goodbye to Jenny Craig and hello to Jack Daniels. It's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love the courtesy applause. It feels really good. We got a great show. I got a special interview with a friend, and of course, he's a friend of the show. JoJo the Balloon Guy is here. But first, let's check out Hitting the Pavement. I am back in uptown Minneapolis. Now everybody knows the times are tough, the economy is bad, so people need someone to talk to. I'm that guy. I'm giving free therapy to people on the streets. Okay. Because times are tough, people cannot afford their therapist. True. So I, I'm not really qualified, and I'm not even that good at it, but let's give this a shot. Well, how does that make it different from any other therapist? Ah, uh, zing. So I'm here to, to listen to you. But I don't have any issues. You clearly have issues. I clearly do not have issues. Okay, your first issue is saying that you don't have any issues. Well, okay. But now I really don't have any issues after that issue. Okay, so you're saying I solved your issue. You solved my issue. Right? Her only issue was saying she had no issues. But now that I brought it to her attention, you're cured! I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured, thank you. You know what feels wrong, though, about this therapy session, Cassandra? What? I feel like you should be on a bench, like lying down. Lying down, yeah. reclining. There's a bench right over there. Um, Let's go, Cassandra. Here we go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I think the big concern is I had this lady. Do you, is there a lady in your life? No, there's not. Okay, that's probably the problem. Okay. So you're alone. You're lonely a lot. Uh, I've never thought about it that way. Okay, well, tell me about your sadness. How do you feel? Uh, I don't feel sad. Okay, well, how do you feel when you're crying at night? I'm never crying at night. You're saying, I'm alone! Lord, help me! Wow, I never thought about it that way. Take it from the top, Cassandra. I had this dream that I was laying on a bus bench on Hennepin Avenue talking to my therapist, and then all of a sudden the octopus has descended. What do you think it means, doctor? This is Lindsay, my sister-in-law. Do you need a hug? Yes. Oh, this is so nice. Lindsay, today, you know I'm a caring guy. Yes. I am out giving free therapy to people. Oh, wow. Because therapy is expensive. Yes. So I'm less expensive, well, less qualified, but I'm here to help. So what's been troubling you? Uh, my brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. My therapy is working because you're, you're letting it out. Well, either that or I just take too many drugs. Are you familiar with Dr. Phil? I don't understand this much. You don't understand Dr. Phil? I don't get him either. I think he's terrible. He's, he's not insightful at all. He's a hack. He's no more of a doctor than you or me. Are you a doctor by chance? No. Thank you, Dr. Keith King. My life is saved. <laughs> This is my sidekick, Sean. How you doing, Keith? Do you need any therapy today? <laughs> I'm actually pretty How good, you Keith. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Do you need a prescription? Can I prescribe you anything? I may take you up on that one, Keith. Okay. I may take you up on that a one. A tall yeah. drink, because Sean's a drunk. So. Yeah. The bar works. This is kind of a nice deal. It, it works out here. well. Yeah. You know, ever since we started taping here at the Mini Ha Ha Comedy Club, which is conveniently located inside of Anthony's Parkway Grill, right here in Burnsville, Minnesota. <laughs> People keep asking me, 
well, that's a nice location, but did you consider anywhere else? Oh yeah, there were there were a few other places we considered. They just didn't work out quite as well. They didn't make as much sense. Yeah. Uh, who wants to yeah. take a look at a few of these locations? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this was the first location. Sean, tell us about this. Well, <laughs> that's our approach. That's the approach we took where we said, you know what, we need to embrace this on-demand thing. Live, on-demand, when they want it, where they want it. And in this case, they wanted us doing yeah. a show while they were ice fishing. In the middle of a uh, frozen lake, ice fishing, yes. <sighs> You were underdressed, I'll say that uh, much. It was cold, it was cold. Okay, so then this, this second one, where's this at, Sean? Uh, that would be at a preschool, Keith. Okay, because we like to hook them at a young age. You got to get them young, Keith. You got to indoctrinate them. Yes. Indoctr that's, that's the name of the game here. Just to show Indoctrinate. children. Yes, just to show children. This, this was kind of a weird location, but I thought it might work. This is actually... A garbage dump. Yeah, most people don't know you can actually rent out a dump. Did you know that? You can actually rent the space. There's so much open space. Yeah, there's a lot of open space, and uh, you can stick signs. They'll let you put anything wherever you want. You don't have to wear cologne? No, no, no absolutely not. Because the scent. Not. So, yeah. But I think in the end, the Minnehaha Comedy Club was by far the best location to shoot uh, this show. I'd have to agree, Keith. Sean, I had the opportunity to do something that I don't normally get to do. Be funny? <laughs> no, not yet, not yet, not yet. I actually did a little babysitting, but when I do babysitting, I merge that with entertaining. This is what you get. Hello, hello, just to show, just to show, say that. Hello, <laughs> keep to Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> There's a monster. <laughs> Garrett, where are you going? Garrett, come play with me. I can't find Garrett. Oh, there's Garrett. How do you feel my babysitting skills are going so far? Garrett, answer the question. Do you know that I once interviewed Kathy Lee Gifford? It's true, I did. Does that tripod look safe, Garrett? Well, Garrett, my understanding is that kids like to watch DVDs. Here are your choices. I have the best of the Keith King show. I have the best and worst of Ripped Off with Keith King. I have Just a Show with Keith King Volume 2. Or Just a Show with Keith King Volume 1. What do you think? All of them! Let's watch all of them! Why was the chicken so happy? Everything was excellent. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> you want to have something to drink? Are you thirsty? How about a Red Bull? Oh, we'll have some Red Bull. We'll add some Jaeg to it a little bit later on, have some Jaeg bombs. Ah, that's gonna keep us up all night. What do massage therapists have for dinner? Spaghetti. <laughs> Get it, spaghetti? Ooh, look at that, a fuzzy blanket. A blanket of entertainment that I provide. Oh, Rappy. Oh, yes. Keith King, host of Just a Show. Oh, Rappy. Yeah, talk show host. Mm-hmm. He's like Jay Leno, but funny. What are you cleaning? Thanks for cleaning up after me. What do you say when a dog runs away. Dog gone. <laughs> now, I know my methods are, oh, Garrett! My methods are a little unorthodox, but bad kids I put in the dryer. So here we go. Let's go in the dryer. Here we go. I'm in. Yeah. There we go. 
I'll let you out in an hour and a half. Good night. What do you think about babysittertainment? Keith, uh, did you actually then let him out at some point or what? Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick break. No, no, no. Let's just wait till the end of the show, Keith. I'm okay. sure he's, if he's been in there this long, he's probably he's okay. Smart, okay. He probably got out. Yeah, he's probably got out. Yeah. We're going to be back. I got a special interview with JoJo the Balloon Guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's Big Show, and this is just a show, so when you figure out what the heck we're doing, we'll let you know, all right? I've got no clue. I don't have a clue. Does he look like he I'm nervous. You're not going to hit me, are you? No, I am thinking of a little man love, though. <laughs> oh. My guest is an amazing talent. He is the most amazing, amazing balloon person that I know. Thank you. This is his fifth appearance on Jester Show. Let's make some noise for JoJo the Balloon That's Guy. Right. How's it going, Keith? It's good. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thanks for having me. I you like know? the new place. Yeah, it's nice. Mini Ha Ha Comedy Club. Yeah. yeah, it's conveniently located inside of Anthony's Parkway Grill. Yeah, it's amazing. That's the only adverb I have is amazing or adjective. So I like it. I'll, I'll be here next week. Check out the comedy. Yeah, you should. Joe, this is your fifth appearance on Just a Show. How's that feel? It's, it's been great. I love the, the Egan and Apple Valley area, so it's great to it come is. on the show. And, I mean, it, you're also a good guy. I mean, I've known you for, what, about eight years? I would say like Working? 25, 30 years. We go way back. The weirdest part is, you know, every night before I go to bed, I watch the classic footage of Keith and JoJo together oh, here. Man. And it's like we're both getting a little bit fatter and, you know, a little bit oh. older. No, it's, it's true. I mean, we, we don't look as good as we used to. That's I mean, there's no, it's okay. We're, we're not gross. I mean, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's, let's move along here. So. For, for those who, uh, who aren't aware of JoJo the Balloon Guy's talents, when did you get started in balloon making? Um, I got started when I was nine years old. I bought a book and thought it looked interesting. Um, just started working with a couple of the balloons and I ended up learning about 30 different animals and went to a restaurant at 13 years old and made a couple things. And the rest was pretty much history. And I, that's, that's how JoJo the Balloon Boy was born. Yeah. And, and now... And you can all see behind us. The big one. Yeah, this is actually, what, what is this? This is a motorcycle. That is a replica of a big dog motorcycle. Now, what goes through your mind when you're going to decide, hey, I'm going to make a life-size motorcycle? What, what goes through your mind? Well, I thought it was going to be pretty easy. But okay. uh, after we found out three hours later, it wasn't the easiest bike to make. So let's hear it for three hours of labor. <laughs> How many balloons are on that? With pops and stuff, I mean, there's, you know, probably 150 at least, 200. I mean, went through quite a few because I kept modifying it, and it's, it's still not done. It's going to get bigger. I'm going to finish it, sadly. It looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Lord of the day brought to you by Just a Show. Okay, That's a funny. lot of people think... You use a like one of those air things, like a clown and stuff. What are those called? Oh, the pump. Pump. You you rarely use pumps, right? Yeah, very rarely. You use real, one hundred percent natural JoJo the Balloon Guy air, right? Exactly. So we're gonna put a uh, blindfold on you. Can you blindfold Hold. yourself with my necktie? I can do that. And the audio guy wants you to speak up a little bit too. So. Oh. Sorry. Well. So just to show how good. Jojo the balloon guy is at making balloons. You're gonna blindfold yourself and you're going to make a balloon animal. I wish they would cheer for you. I don't think they like right. you nearly as much as I do. Question is, what color do I have? You've got pink. I got pink, okay. okay that got works. Pink balloon. So how do you want me to just go at just it? Just go ahead, do your thing. Joe, Joe. Okay. This That's, is blindfolded. I have no idea what's gonna come out. Right. Actually. Why are we doing this? Seeing you're talking about using a pump, why don't you try blowing okay, one? Okay, I'll try one while you're working that one. 
Oh. Oh. See, now you think I've got smoke in your lungs and I've never smoked. How's right. it coming there, Joe? It's coming. I've got nothing. You got nothing? No applause, no laughter, nothing. Come on, Keith, I have faith in you. Well, look at that. Good old. Blind Question is, is there? There we go. Okay. All right. How do you feel? Do you feel pretty good about that? Oh, I feel it's really bright now. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. JoJo the balloon guy. Okay. Now, JoJo, sure. one of the coolest things is you actually came to my bachelor party last year with me. I did. And nice. we went to one of those gentlemen's clubs, right? We did. Now, it's, it, it does, it's not really that big of a deal, but you actually made a balloon. And what did you do with the balloon there at the... They think this is sleazy. It's not sleazy at all. What did you do? Well, the question is, which balloon are you talking about? <laughs> talking about the teddy bear. Oh, the teddy bear? Yeah, the teddy bear. I, see, I don't... Okay, I JoJo two. made a teddy bear, put a dollar bill inside of the oh, balloon, yeah, kind of like this, and then put it up on the tip rail. Uh, yeah. And because of that, you actually got to bring one home with you. That was a really good tip. <laughs> I did get the dollar, so... I still thought it was great that you wore a big gestures crown. Yeah, you also made me a, a gesture hat. You, you can't feel really bad at a bachelor party when you're wearing balloon hats. No. So. It, was, it was a good time. Okay, because I just brought up the bachelor party on TV, could you make a little something for my wife? Ooh, I who can. Who is in the crowd and a big Aww. fan. Aww. Just, you know, just a little something for you, honey. What do you got there? This All right, is, uh, let's see. What do you got? It's gonna be like a uh, a rose or something. Yeah, we can do the flower. Okay. You know, gotta make it so you can get some brownie points. A dirty member of the crowd thought that you were making something different when they saw the two foot long balloon. <laughs> oh man! Not oh, going nice. there, honey. Not going there at all. Go. Okay. See, so I got balloons in every pocket. Okay, so <laughs> I will give this to her after the show. Sounds good. Uh, these were a big hit on Valentine's Day. Very nice. Save Let's hear it for JoJo, the balloon oh, guy. Yo. Balloon yeah. making yeah. skills. Now you do a lot of you do a lot of uh, charity work. What kind of charities are you involved with nowadays? Um, I just did the Polar Bear Plunge okay. uh, last week. That was um, a really fun event. A lot of crazy people. That's for sure. Okay. Um, and muscular dystrophy is another big, uh, probably my number one charity. I ended up making a motorcycle quite like that. It was actually smaller, and it raised 220 bucks in a silent auction, just oh, the motorcycle. Nice. So, what's up? I like the MDA. I should consider giving back one of these days. Yeah, we can do a show together. Okay. Well, how much are they going to pay you? Nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now... A lot of people don't know this, but you actually got a day job not so long ago. Why? I what is it? Well, besides balloons, I have a weird obsession. I am absolutely obsessed with Chipotle okay. Mexican Grill. The burritos are amazing. They didn't amazing. pay for that plug, so no. we're replacing that with Anthony's Parkway Grill. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, over the last eight years, I've had over 3,000 meals there. I mean, it, it's turned into a sickness. In how many years? In eight years. So 3,000 meals? That's pretty much daily and stuff. I've actually eaten it daily for the last year. So you figured, why spend the money when you could just get a job there and exactly. you would save a lot of money that way? Yeah, free burritos every day, half price when I'm not working. And I did go a little crazy. I got it forever tattooed. I mean, that's... Uh, you got a Chipotle, Chipotle for life. tattoo. Yeah. Wow. I'd heard a rumor that if you got a tattoo of Chipotle, you get a burrito card that gets you burritos for the rest of your life. Is that true? I haven't seen it yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not yet. Okay. Where what? can we see you making the balloons? Where are you at these days? Um, every Sunday night, um, I'm in Egan at Axel's Bonfire and Grill. Okay. That is an amazing place. The food is... Terrific for the adults and kids build their own pizza on Sundays for free. Very comparable to the food at Anthony's Parkway Grill. <laughs> uh, but it is Anthony's awesome. Anthony's makes you feel a little bit better. So, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so that's your that's Sunday nights you've got that going. That's on. every Sunday night, and um, one of my favorite places is the Minnesota Wild Games. Okay. I'm up in the club level and in the suites. 
for the weekend home games. Nice. Nothing better than the wild crowd, 18,000 people screaming. So They're all yelling, Joe, Joe, <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe. This is a slow crowd because they were supposed to do Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah. How's that feel? It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. First time. <laughs> they got dumb quick. They're like, that's enough. They said three Joes. Okay, so now if somebody wants to hire you, you do pretty much any occasion worth celebrating, right? A wedding? A... Weddings are the big one. Okay. So on bar and bar mitzvahs, birthday parties, graduations. Um, Bachelorette parties. Because you can make some of that sleazy stuff. <laughs> Take the pink poodle and use your imagination, ladies. Oh. Isn't this a family show? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, so how do they get a hold of JoJo the Balloon Guy? Um, I would probably say Google JoJo the Balloon Guy. That's one of the easiest ways. Okay. Or you can just uh, email me at JoJoBalloonGuy at AOL.com. Very nice. That's Very weird. nice. You got a special treat. This is your fifth time on the show. Is... You get to ask me a question today. Well, seeing I got a dog not too long ago, and okay. I know about Peanut. How Peanut's is the Chihuahua? How is Peanut the Chihuahua doing? Peanut is great. At first, I didn't feel like a real man, but when you snuggle with Peanut, <laughs> he's he's like my child. He's very nice. See, I gotta wonder, how do you snuggle with a dog that small? He actually kind of controls us. He's kind of puts all his weight on, and <laughs> he's a heavy four pounds. You gotta love Peanut. <laughs> Unfortunately, they will not allow him here at Anthony's Parkway Grill. Oh, no. Because he's an animal. Oh, All right. Geez. Well, thank you so much, JoJo, for coming on. Great seeing you, Keith. Here for JoJo the Balloon Guy. Oh, Good seeing you. Great. And we're going to be back with more of Just a Show. Jojo, he's a, he, just a show and Jojo go back a long ways, Keith. Our quasi fame kind of goes hand in hand. Jojo the balloon guy, just a show, very, very, a very quasily famous. Yeah. Truly a friend of the show is what yeah, he is. He's a good guy. <laughs> We're talking like he's dad. <laughs> I'm going to miss well, him. Well, he's still a friend of the show. <laughs> I mean, God, I'm going to miss him. <laughs> Who's going to make balloons? <laughs> For my wife. I've been watching him. I can probably pick it up. Oh, pick it up a little bit. so sad. He just was tragic. <laughs> he had too much Chipotle when he should have been going to Anthony's Parkway Grill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you to yeah. JoJo the Balloon Guy for coming yes. out. Thanks for Sean. Let's hear it for Sean. Yeah. It's been fun, Keith. Who doesn't get enough applause? He really blogged I about don't. it the other day. I did say something. I emailed you about it, I think. Yeah, I said, you did. You bitched about it, and then you tweeted yeah. about it, and you kept yeah. going. So check out justashow.com for more info, and we will see you next time right here at Just a Show. Yeah! Let's try to do that. <laughs>